another nice little chill spot here, just outside of the city. It's a beautiful site. The reason I came out here is because I want to give you guys a little bit of advice and some of the things that I went through through my monetization journey because honestly, you know, it wasn't easy. It's very widely known that, you know, getting YouTube monetized is not easy. Only around 10% of YouTubers have even a thousand subscribers, so it's a very hard journey. Honestly, I will say it does get easier, you know, once you just relax and just do what you enjoy, like stuff like this, this is not hard for me. I'm actually enjoying the process, you know. I remember when I first started the channel, I really didn't know who I was or who I wanted to be on YouTube at the time, so I was really making a lot of videos that I just, I didn't really enjoy making. You know, when I first started, I was making videos that I thought was going to give me views, and I wasn't making videos that I actually enjoyed making. So, you know, yes, you know, I did kind of technically blew up with one of my reaction videos. I mean, it only got like, I mean, like, it got a staggering 5,000 views. But for me at the time, you know, I only had, what, 200 subscribers or maybe like even less than that, maybe 100. I had a video that had 5,000, 5,000 people saw my face and then I got like to 500 subscribers. Insane. Going through the monetization process has, you know, taught me a lot of lessons. And, you know, in the beginning, I was very, with the channel, I was very needy. Like, I, I was just so hands-on with the process. It was to the point where I couldn't even like, go to sleep without checking my analytics one last time and then right when I wake up I'm of course checking it again just to see my subscriber count go up just by one number or one more view and honestly that shit is exhausting like I know a lot of you guys is probably watching this do that now number one it's demoralizing because most of the time you're not getting your you know your crazy numbers that you want in your head you're more than likely probably gonna get maybe one honestly uh, uh, realistically you're probably gonna lose like one or two subscribers and gain two views and you know, when you wake up and you see that, and you're, you're thinking, okay, I put so much work in this video, I'm gonna go to sleep. When I wake up, bro, this is gonna have at least, you know, 2,000 views plus, you know, I know it. And then you wake up and it only has, you know, 10 views. Four of them were you and your friends and some of your family. You know, it just, it doesn't feel good, you know, to see that. Now that I'm finally monetized and I feel like I make videos that I actually enjoy making, like I said, this for me is so simple. Like, honestly, I woke up, it's, it's 10.46 in the morning right now. Okay, I was talking, there's a dude on a bike that literally pulled, I have this whole wide park and somebody pulled up on me. I don't know if he wants to get shifty, so we're gonna have to like watch the back. Okay, he's just sitting on the bench. Maybe I can like, boom, I don't know, boom, he's off. Um, hopefully he doesn't like try to like throw me over there because you know, bro, the biggest thing for me was the relief that came with, you know, actually getting monetized because now, you know, I don't wake up and check my analytics, you know, every single night, you know. I can post a video, and of course I want it to do well. I'm not, I, you know, I know I'm just a, a guy that makes the videos on the platform, but, you know, so I'm not trying to say I, I have a, you know, say on this or I know what I'm talking about, but I'm rambling, I'm sorry. I do that when I'm nervous. You know, I feel like if we honestly just take the ranking system out of, you know, the YouTube analytic thing, it will make a lot of things better just because, you know, you can still see how your videos are doing without the negative effects of feeling like you're a piece of shit because you got a 10 out of 10. You know, I'm just saying, you know, or maybe I just, I don't know what I'm talking about. And YouTube's, it's like, Ty, we under, we know what we're doing. We, we got this. Okay, sorry, back to the video. I know a lot of guys are probably gonna click off like, who is this fucking idiot? Sorry, this is who I am. I'm, I can't help it, sorry. Another, I would say relief is that I finally feel rewarded for my work. So for the longest time, of course I enjoy, you know, growing an audience and making a name for myself. All of that is amazing. But at the same time, whenever you make a video before you're monetized, there's just a feeling of, okay, I don't know the name of it, but the feeling of being robbed. You know, when you put in, you know, hella hours, all your time, all your dedication, all your emotion into a video, just for it to, let's say, even do well. It can do great, you know. I had video, I had one video hit like 20K views, and that's great, you know. A lot of people saw me, a lot of people enjoyed the content, a lot of people joined the fam. If you haven't already, you know, subscribe. But, you know, of course, all that is great, but at the same time, you know, that's 20,000 views that I didn't get paid for. You know, it feels good that every video that I post will, you know, benefit me monetarily i guess i should say and i don't want to be one of those users like yo guys fucking go buy my you know i'm not doing i don't want to be one of those guys so that's why i hate talking about money but i'm really just making this video because i am freshly monetized and i shouldn't have to explain myself but i know a lot of guys out there 
I'm gonna be like, oh, oh shit, tie change. Here, here comes the money. No, no, no. When I saw people with a thousand subscribers, a hundred thousand subscribers, whatever, getting thousands of views, I never thought it could ever be me. Even though that's all that I could ever want. I was 12 years old when I first started YouTube. So I've been doing YouTube for pretty much a, my whole life because that's the only thing I've ever cared about. You know, I've always tried things. I've always been in, you know, I've tried band, I played football, I played other sports. You know, I've always did things, but I've always in the end quit and I never knew why. And, you know, I always thought I was a quitter, that I could never do anything, but then I realized that YouTube was the only thing that I actually gave a fuck about and that I didn't quit because I actually cared about it. And I realized that I'm not a quitter, you know, I'm not a loser, I'm not whatever failure I think I am, you know. I just didn't have an interest in those things, so why pursue it, you know? Like, I know that I only have one life to live. To me, it's a very deep saying. Like, if you really think about it, and you really, like, stop and stop worrying about the nonsense, whatever drama, blah, 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 and just think about, yo, this is my one life, like, in this moment, just stop, look around, this is my one life. Am I really gonna live it doing things that I don't wanna do for other people's amusement? And in the reality, I don't care about what they actually think. In the long run, like, when I'm 70 years old, is that fucking guy that did whatever or said this about my girl or whatever he did, is he, am I even gonna know him? Like, does it, actually matter no it doesn't no it doesn't you know when I'm dead and gone or getting of, of age I want my life to be good you know I want to be relaxing actually speaking on that let me see if I can actually turn this camera around because I want to show you guys this view bro. I want to live comfortably I, not even comfortably I want to live free like you see the city bro look, look at the city this is a this is this is a world out there I want to live it abundantly not through money but through freedom of my life of my choice the things that I want to do honestly I never had the ambition to be rich or famous or anything when I first started YouTube as I mentioned I was 12 years old meaning I started this not even knowing about money or bills or I started YouTube just out of pure passion watching other creators I remember when I first started YouTube or before I even started YouTube actually I used to watch, I was like every other YouTuber, I used to watch Call of Duty videos and Call of Duty commentaries and just enjoy that side of YouTube. So I've always had that spirit in me, that beginning of YouTube, the craziness, the chaoticness, the funness. You know, I've always wanted to keep that. And I try to do that, you know, hopefully I am. And you know, I've asked myself many times, like why do I make YouTube videos? Because for the longest time it wasn't working. You know, I was, bro, I think it took me like a couple months to even get to my first hundred, which I think is average. So, you know, I think my channel is pretty average. I'm really being more hard on myself, but you know, I did have these hard talks with myself. Like, why am I making these videos? What is the purpose? Why do I continue to do it when it doesn't work? Why, when it's not working, you know? And I had to ask myself, is it because of money? Because if it's because of money, I would have been quit, right? So I think for me, making videos goes a lot deeper than just you know, fame and success, whatever a lot of people want these days. For as long as I have vocal cords, I can literally just make videos. If I have no legs, no arms, it's just I'm in a wheelchair, but I still can talk. Best believe me, guys, I will put that camera up on that tripod and we're talking. I'm getting the best boom mic, we're talking, okay? Before I end of the video, I do want to give you guys a little bit of advice on how I kind of got here and the things that I learned and the things that I used to finally get me past that small, well, I guess I'm still a small YouTuber, but the micro, I don't even know what it's called, but below a thousand, I guess, because I know a lot of people want to hit that first thousand because that first thousand, I'm not gonna lie, feels good. You feel like you're on top of the world, you see 1K, it just feels good. So I know a lot of people want to get to that 1K, so I do have a little bit of uh, advice for you guys. So number one, how long did it take me to get monetized? So I'm not gonna lie, my journey is a little bit interesting because I was on and off for, on YouTube. Um, so as I said, I did start YouTube when I was 12, but I quickly quit because my school actually found out. So being 12, I was in middle school, I believe. Being a middle schooler, that's weird. Okay, I wasn't weird, but I was interesting. I went to a majority black, you know, middle school, high school, and you see how I act, you know. I was very out of the norm for where I was at. So imagine that scenario, that guy, not even guy, that kid, that boy, is in middle school and he has a YouTube channel playing Minecraft and commentating on it. 
I say, fuck, I shouldn't have said this because now people are like, Todd, what's the challenge? We gotta go see. I'm not saying it until I hit 100K. If we hit 100K, then I'll show you guys my first YouTube channel, which is so embarrassing. You know, I, huh, man. So I say fast forward to like 17. That's when I picked my channel back up. And I did it for a little bit, you know, but I wasn't very consistent. You know, I would go on for like two months, and then quit for a month or two, three months, then quit for another month, five months, and then, you know, just not very consistent. And during that time, I wasn't really making the videos that I wanted to make. You know, from the very beginning, I knew I always wanted to be a vlogger or a version of it. I always wanted to be on the camera, talk to the camera, pretty much what I'm doing right now. This is like for my fucking childhood dream. Holy sh thank you. I've always wanted to have some aspect of freedom on the channel where I could talk about not pretty much anything I want, but I've, a vast majority of the things that I want to talk about. So to make it easy, I did YouTube from like 18 to like 19. So that was a year. And like I said, I was very on and off. But when I turned 20, that's when everything changed for me. That was the year I decided to move to Miami, this beautiful city. And that's when the channel really took a change because I was finally able to make the videos I really wanted to make. So my hometown is Mississippi. And you know, in Mississippi, there's not a lot of things to vlog. There's not a lot of things to see. Nothing's very interesting. It's a very small little town. So I wasn't able to really show that side of myself. And you know, moving to Miami really did change that for me because obviously it's Miami. Everybody wants to see Miami. And that's partly why I moved here because I did want to do it for the channel. But also, I always dreamt of living in a big city. When I first moved to Miami, um, you know, I was trying to just get allocated. So I wasn't making videos for the first three months, I believe, three or four months. But after that, you know, when I got a job, got an apartment and stuff, you guys saw on the channel, I really started getting consistent. Now, before that, when I was still, this is gonna sound kind of uh, bad, but I was, I was, I was homeless. I know, I know, I'm sorry. Um, but, you know, when I was still, you know, during those times, I did make a couple of videos just showing that side of me. But then eventually, I started making videos, you know, about my apartment, my life, and just me experiencing adulting and eventually I became what I've always wanted. I am able to make videos about me, my life, what I'm going through and I'm actually growing an audience and a fan base that actually cares and I care about you guys through this. You know this is as I said a childhood dream. I've always wanted to be what I am right now and you know to see me finally actually hitting those milestones feels amazing. It feels like there's been a secret that has been held for me for so long but I'm finding clues to finally figure out that biggest, darkest secret that I just didn't know about my life. So we're gonna just go with a sum total of three years. Three years I've been doing YouTube and I finally got monetized and I'm about to hit 2K, which is beautiful. Thank you so much, guys. Oh my God, if I don't say it enough. One of the biggest challenges for me was realizing that nobody gave a F about me. As humans, we always wanna feel love and affection and feel that connection with other human beings because we're pet, we're social creatures. And once you realize that you know nobody cares about you and that you aren't the most important person on the earth, that's when you start making videos that's actually for an audience and that's when you actually start to grow. So I will say starting off is the most challenging. Like when you have zero subscribers, that's when you have no leverage because you have nothing to, you have zero to offer. You have literally zero, you have zero subscribers. So you know, getting people to number one watch but then subscribe is so difficult. So that zero to 100, I would say is was way harder than my 1,000 to 2,000. Like the, getting to 2K, I didn't even like realize it. It just kind of happened, you know, which I'm so grateful to be able to say that. But every day I would wake up, watch my analytics, see no views, see click-through rate is abysmal. And I'm just like, why? And that's because I didn't realize I gotta make videos people wanna see. And once I made that change, once I moved to Miami and just finally that click, that's when things started going up, and now I'm here. Number two, title and thumbnail. I see a lot of YouTubers make mistakes where they make thumbnails which don't convey any meaning, and I still do this to this day sometimes because I'm not perfect, I'm still trying to figure this thing out, but I do understand the concept on what I'm supposed to do. Your thumbnail has to convey some level of emotion. Fear, anger, happiness, sadness, intrigue, you know, inspiration, something. I had to move over here because my camera was getting overheated and I don't want my camera to like do that. So we're gonna just slide over here. So YouTube has changed. It used to be very search-based, meaning you wanted to put titles in a way where people can search for it. So stuff like how to or, or how do I blank. But YouTube has recently changed where 
is more browse based, meaning you want to get videos ranking in the browse features. The videos is going to be on the side, the videos is going to be on the home page. That's where you want to put your videos because that's where YouTube is pushing videos now. And the way you do that is by putting a title in a way where it acts as a question or I don't know how to put it into words, but leaves a level of intrigue because when you're scrolling by, when you're reading, you know, something that pops out is something that's like, oh, what, what is that? Or, oh my God, that must be amazing. Let me click that. Stuff like that gets clicks. And that's the reason why videos, that's the worst videos on the internet, stuff like, like fighting or killing or whatever, get the most views because it's the most polarizing. But if you can figure out a formula where you can, whatever niche you're in or whatever videos you make, you can figure out a way to put thumbnails in a way where you're invoking a sense of intrigue or a feeling, then you're golden. And then from there, you're gonna start to grow, it's gonna get bigger and bigger, and life's gonna be cherry, I guess. Did I just say cherry? Yeah, Ty, you gotta edit that out. That, did I just say cherry? Oh, you cherry, okay. Now, another biggest question you're asking is, can I do it? Can I actually do it? Can I, can I be, what I've always dreamt. And, you know, this is coming from me. I only have 2K subscribers. I believe anybody can do it, but not everybody will make it because to get to where even I am at where I'm at at 2K, it takes, it took a lot of sacrifice. A lot of people aren't gonna be able to withstand that because it's not easy. I almost did not do it. I'm not saying I'm some strong or different individual. But I kind of had, to, I was kind of forced to do it. You know, some people have options, you know. Some people can choose like, okay, this is a little too much for me. Let me go back to my safe little, you know, chill. You know, some people had that option. But for me, bro, I moved to Miami, you know, here now. Like, there was no going back. You know, there was no, well, this is tough. I mean, I guess I could have gotten a plane ticket. So I will say, to become a YouTuber, per se, it takes a lot of sacrifice, a lot of hard work, a lot of discipline. The biggest one is discipline. You need discipline. If you don't have discipline, I'm not gonna lie, you might as well pack it up now because it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work for you. I'm gonna be honest with you, you know. It's too many other creators that's good, that wanna make it, that have the hunger. If you don't compete, they're gonna outcompete you every single time. So, you know, you really just have to be a monster with it. You have to, regardless of how you feel, how you think, and of course keep it fun. If you really don't wanna make that video, and when I say you don't wanna make it, I mean really don't want to make like it's to the, to the point where you would rather you know sleep on a bed, bed of nails or something i don't know something like you just really don't want to make a video then okay i get it but if you're just like eh, i don't feel like it well then the other guy that did, didn't feel like it but actually did it guess what he's now what you want it to be and how do you like how does that make you feel you know you really have to ask yourself these questions like do i want to do i want to be the guy that always talked about the things that I wanted to achieve, the things that I was gonna accomplish, and then in the end, none of it really came to fruition. You know, you have to ask yourself those questions. And if you are in the latter half where you don't really care, you know, you could go back to a normal life. Cool for you. You know, some people, like I said, a lot of this YouTube thing seems fun. It is fun. Don't get me wrong, but it's not for everybody. So you gotta really ask yourself: Is YouTube for me? Is waking up, you know, worrying about views, worrying about? You know, am I still relevant? Am I gonna be gone tomorrow? You know, I don't have a secure paycheck. How am I gonna get my next bit? You know, are you worried? Are you ready for those worries and those fears and those doubts? You know, I just wanna say thank you for being with me on this crazy ass path. You know, man, I can't believe I'm even here. Like, it, man, the, oh my God. Like, my brain feels like, my life feels like I'm in a sitcom. Like, some of the things that happened to me really don't feel like real life. It sound like if I told my life out in a story, it would sound like a, a, a feature film, you know, big ass documentary, nine out of 10 stars, number one hit. But no, that's just my life. And, you know, I will say I did choose some of these things. Of course, I put myself in those situations. Can't be too upset about that. But at the same time, you know, I'm just trying to figure this thing out. I don't know what I'm doing. 22 years old. Life doesn't really make a lot of sense to me. <sighs> you know? All I do know is that I desire freedom, love, and success. 
but not for just me, but for those around me that I love and cherish dearly. And with that being said, guys, I love you so much. Goodbye. Peace. Mwah, that was a great video. Ha, that was a good video.